Okay, so what it is you have to consider is this. Uh, for a uniformly charged sphere, this is what the electric field will look like. And I'm hoping this is something that you recognize from, um, from last week. <laughs> that uh, for a uniformly charged sphere, if you plot the magnitude of the electric field as a function of distance from the center of the sphere, then uh, from the um, from the radius of the sphere and out, that is easy. Uh, there's some um, electric field magnitude at that radius, and then it goes as one over r. That's uh, what electric field strength one over r squared. That's what electric field strength looks like for uniform a spherical anything. Now, inside the sphere, for a uniformly charged sphere at a uniform charge density then the electric field strength looks like this. It goes linearly as, um, so it, it goes to zero in the center, proportional to R. So at the very center, your electric field is zero. And uh, as you go out, it increases linearly up to the edge of the sphere. Now, when you're trying to figure out the voltage, so I think outside of, um, I think outside the sphere, that's fine. Everyone knows how to deal with that. So voltage is going to be on a different scale. And on that different scale, it'll look like, so let's say this is the voltage at that point. Voltage is going to look like 1 over R, proportional to 1 over R. And it's this inside the sphere portion that people um, sometimes make mistakes, not do it quite right. Sometimes you, you know, look at what the electric field lines look like, electric field looks like, and you want to kind of try one, uh, uh, draw something that looks similar, and that's where <laughs> you'll get it. People, I've seen many people get it wrong. What you have to be careful and uh, be careful to do is apply the definition. The definition of a voltage is given by change of voltage is the integral of minus E dot DL. As you go from point A to B, the change of electricity so the change of voltage is integral of this quantity from A to B. And that only gives you the change in voltage. So you have to think about it here. So as you are here, as you move inward, so your electric field is pointing outward. So if you're moving inward, then the dot product is negative, but I have this minus sign. So I'm accumulating positive changes as I go in. So as I go in from here, I should be moving positive word. In fact, the slope here will be the same as the slope here. That's what the continuity of electric field actually implies there. And when you complete the integral, you will see that it kind of looks like an inverted parabola. As it should be, you know, you are integrating a line. So, uh, so that's what the voltage inside should look like. And you know, all of this involves quite a bit of detailed mathematical work. It, I guess that this is a quantitative question that's uh, masquerading as a conceptual question because <laughs> there's no way to get it completely correctly without getting the math correct. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, so it looks like a parabola. You just have to get the, um, you have to get the features of the parabola correctly. Uh, it's not concave up, it's concave down. Um, 